Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay Online Sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, sikahan at kaalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan na ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami, si J.C. Bautista. Hello, hello, good morning everyone. Happy Friday po sa lahat. Friday na naman. <laughs> talagang napakabilis talaga ng days, no? We don't even uh, notice it. Tapos na naman ang isang linggo. For, I hope the week has been productive for most of us po. No? Hello there. Ano ba tong name na to? Fighter Rain Zeregto. Magandang tanghali po. Tanghali na pala dyan sa inyo. Where are you from, Fighter Rain? Zerig, it's so hard for me to 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 pronounce your last name, Zerig Doug. Oh, oh no, it's Baliktad. It's Gutierrez Baliktad. Oh my God, Gut 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 Gutierrez. So it is. Your name is Rain Fighter or Fighter Rain Gutierrez. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the show. Maganda ko magasa yow. Uh, fighter rain. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. <clears throat> and of course, everybody else who's coming to watch the show. Maraming maraming salamat. Anyway, it's a Friday. At a uh, short recap po ng pinag-usapan natin all this week. Of course, we were still into the matter of um, how to deal with stress, how to uh, be resilient in this pandemic situation. No? Kasi po, no? Almost two and a half years now into this pandemic, it's already July. Half of July gone. Alahati ng taon po na kalipas na ulit ang 2022. In fact, right, face-to-face classes has returned to some schools, not all. Pero ito po, we're looking at the school year 2022, 2023. To happen on August 22, no, face to face na yon pero hindi pa rin lahat. In fact, you know, in extend pa ni Bangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. yung extension ng distance learning or blended learning hangga October 31 po, pwede pang magblended learning. But that we're looking at November to be the 100% move of the Vice President Sara Duterte to have face to face classes. Fully operational, 100%. Marami pa rin pong nag-aapila na huwag maging 100% face-to-face. Pero yun po, yung ang move po ng, uh, ng ating uh, Vice President is to have a five-day, uh, yun po, no? Five-day uh, school, five-day school day, Monday to Friday na pasokan. Uh, as opposed to ngayon po kasi, di ba? yung blended learning pa rin iba. Some days they go to school, some days they study online. But of course, dun sa mga wala namang internet, modular learning pa rin or homeschooling. Pero yun po. So let's see kung ano kasi there's a, a request from Ched, from the teachers to extend pa muna yung bakasyon. Hindi ko alam kung nangyari yun kasi as of yesterday, sinabi August 22 na ulit yung pasukan. So still, 
that just gave the teachers a little over a month to relax and, and have a break from their uh, academic duties. No? But uh, moving right along, yun po ang, ang tinitignan natin is August 22, uh, back to school ulit, school year. Saan ko yung pamove nila na October, but then at the same time, uh, yung November, yun ang tinitignan na ano na, 100% face-to-face or five-day school, five-day school day. Okay, and yes, uh, yun po. Yes, please feel free po to, to send me text messages for questions or on my messenger or email me po as a techimommy at gmail.com. Okay? Uh, all right. Um, okay, the countries agree that the pandemic accord should be legally binding. Ito po, no, from the World Health Organization. Galing po sa Geneva, Switzerland. Countries meeting to negotiate a new international accord on how to handle future pandemic agreed kahapon, Thursday po kahapon, that it should be legally binding. Ito po sinabi ng World Health Organization. The economic turmoil and millions of lives lost during uh, the coronavirus crisis triggered calls for new international defenses strong enough to prevent such a disaster in the future. Ano kayo to gagawin, no? Then 194, the 194 who members state, uh, stated uh, uh, yung, yung 194 pa na member ng, w, ng World Health Organization states uh, Sinabi po nila, they decided in December to launch the negotiating and drafting process for a new international instrument on pandemic prevention, preparedness, and response. Okay, The Intergovernmental Negotiating Body held its second meeting itong week na to sa Geneva. INB members agreed though they will work to conclude a new legally binding international pandemic agreement okay, that will help all the countries and just in case another outbreak like this or pandemic happens. As with all uh, international instruments, any new agreement, if and when agreed by member states, is drafted and negotiated by governments themselves, who will take any action in line with their sovereignty? Uh, with their sovereignty. Who Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus welcomed the decision, saying it would safeguard families and communities. The importance of legally binding instrument cannot be overstated. It will be our collective legacy for future generations. Okay? Uh, INB co-chair Precious Matsoso from South Africa said, The decision today is the first important step of our cr critical work together. But we will have many hills to climb. It is a journey that requires all of us to stand together. Okay? Uh, ang, ang May 2024 po is the end goal. The INB is aiming to ensure better preparedness and a more equitable response for future pandemics. The next INB meeting will be held in December and deliver a progress report to the 2023 World Health Assembly and annual meeting of WHO member states. Countries are working to conclude the agreement in May 2024. A key issue down the line, okay, could be whether countries want beefed up powers for the WHO to investigate the sources of outbreaks uh, saan saan po, no? uh, Tidros has said that the lack of data sharing early in the COVID pandemic had been a hindrance. Ayun nga kasi. So dapat pag, pagbutihin pa nila yung pag, the data search or yung pag-research. Lloyd Pace, the Assistant Secretary for Global Affairs at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services was in Geneva for the, for the negotiation. The United States stands ready to be a part of this, of solving the problem of pandemic preparedness and response. We weren't quite there when it came to COVID-19, and we want to correct that. They said Washington was open to be a mix of binding and non-binding options and uh, as part of any wider final outcome. Whatever, what is most preferred is something that will work for the world. We don't want to make empty promises that we collectively then can't or won't meet, okay? So in that note po, ayan po yung take ng World Health, Organ World Health Organization um, and all the countries were agreeing, uh, agreeing agree, agreed ano ba yan? that the pandemic accord should be legally binding. Alright? Okay. Alright. So, 
in the world naman po of ano uh, oh, in connection to the pandemic no dito sa Philippines po they are toying on the idea of bringing back the face shield diba ang Pilipinas lang nga ang nagnanong ng strict restrictions ng ganyan na may face shield sa so, ibang country hindi nga nila alam ko ng face shield Ayan, oh. Face shield comeback. Eyebrows raised over DepEd's guideline for physical classes. Ito po, ah, dahil sa physical class ito. Kaya nagtitignan yan. Okay, hold on a second. Ayusin ko lang. Uh, <coughs> where's my... Ayan, oh. Ito yung face shield sa, ka, sa left side ko. Alright. Ayan, face shields. No? Ano sinasabi? One of the guidelines released by the Education Department for the Philippines for the full shift of physical classes earned questions and concerns from social media users. The Department of Education or the DepEd has uh, enumerated guidelines to prevent the transmission of COVID-19 in light of the anticipated face-to-face -face interactions among students. Pag nag full face-to-face -face na po ang pagbabalik skwela. Okay? So, uh, Ito po ang kailangan tignan because of the face-to-face -face interactions that students, teachers, and personnel are going to do. Okay? These can be seen in Debt Ed Order 34 Series of 2022. Ito po ang mga guidelines na yun na sinet ng, ng Debt Ed para sa mga returning to school face-to-face. -face, okay? The first guideline, okay, focuses on using face shields ulit. Ay na, ayan na yan. Ito nasa tabi kong nilabas ko sa inyo. Which have been no longer voluntary since last year. Okay? Ang sabi nila, face masks shall be mandatory. Oh my God, ang init. In the reopening of classes. A face shield may be used in lieu of a face mask for activities requiring the entire face of an individual to be visible. The plastic barriers have become voluntary under COVID-19 alert levels 1 to 3 since November 2021. However, commercial establishments and employers have the option to require its use on their premises. Depende na po yan sa discretion ng may-ari ng negosyo. No? Even so, the protective gear has become an uncommon sight as majority of the regions have, regions have been in the lowest alert levels for some time already. But its return to classrooms raised concerns among Filipinos who pointed out that the virus can be transmitted through the air. Totoo naman. Tsaka pag gumamit ka ng face shield, di ba? Ay, wala na. Nalikitin ko na dito. Yung face shield nakaganyan sa mukha mo. Lalabas ka sa open air. Naprotect nga yung bibig mo sa nose. Pero ano to? Di ba? Bukas dito sa taas eh. So, airborne yung virus. Pupunta dyan. O pupunta dyan sa likod ng, ng ano mo, face shield mo. Maiipon dyan. So, pag binaba mo ngayon yung masker mo para kumain ang magsalita, direct pasok mo yung virus so, sa mouth mo, diba? That's the reason why nga they removed it already because some uh, some um, experts from UP na nag-conduct nag, uh, nag ng ano dyan, test, siyang nag-expose nag na mas lalo nang naiipon yung virus mo sa likod, right? Well, but it's returned to classroom trace concern among some Filipinos who pointed out that the virus can be transmitted through the air. Exactly. Face shield, kaya lang ba natin accept na airborne transmission ang COVID? Walang effect ang face shield. Okay? Yan ang sinasabi ng, ng most people. I mean, it just gonna uh, affect yung breathing na naman ng mga tao. Okay? Uh, Face shield, uh, pa din daw, di ba maraming, nag, ng, di maraming nagpag, uh, no? di maraming nag-aaral ang ginawa na nagpapatuna, ah, oh, let me see. So, okay, somebody said that, face shield pa din, di ba marami ng pag-aaral, o oh, yan pala, many studies have been conducted, uh, na, 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 na ginawa na nagpapatunay na di nakakatulong ang face shield dahil ang COVID ay airborne. Itong sinabi ng isang online users. As of Tuesday, Education Secretary and Vice President Sara Duterte said that the agency is now planning for a blended type of learning in certain areas. Now, however, the order to have physical classes by November still stands. What the experts are saying, okay? Meanwhile, 
Physicians previously suggested the government to strictly implement face mask wearing, the practice of proper ventilation establishments, physical distancing, and COVID-19 vaccination. Okay? The suggestions came after the government had raised the possibility of reimposing the mandatory wearing of face shields. And last November, after the Omicron variant was tagged as a variant of concern, okay? All right. Face shields began to be mandated in the country in, in December 2020 as a means to protect, uh, to, pro to prevent COVID-19 transmission. Okay, kaya yun na, na introduced na yan on, on, uh, it was a must up until December 2020. However, studies have noted that it is not helpful as the virus is airborne in nature. For comparison, aerosol transmission has been likened to how cigarette smoke behaves in the air. Okay? So that's what we're having as a matter of fact now. And then the second thing is, I'm going to write the way through too. Okay, a 2020 study published in the Journal of Physics of Fluids found that although face shields block the initial forward motion of one's cough or sneeze, yung pag just harap niya umubo, okay, nabablock yun, the expelled droplets can move around the visor with relative ease and spread out over a large area. That's what I mean, pag hatsudan sa'yo, punta sa likod. Pero yun na lang na nga, na kahit nasa open air ka, punta sa ulo mo, punta sa mga mo, right? Uh, Okay, the simulation that the researchers performed showed that droplets had remained suspended in, at the bottom of the shield and spread to the front and sides of the mannequin used for study, okay? For the face shield simulation, the shield initially deflected droplets toward the ground after a cough, okay? But small droplets remain suspended at the bottom of the shield and then floated around the sides, eventually spreading about three feet to the front and sides of the mannequin. In some cases, the droplets spread backward behind the mannequin instead of forward, okay? Itong sinasabi naman ng speculate kung sa nangyari na yan. Two experts similarly said that the face shields are not tight-fitting and that uh, hindi rin tight-fitting Ito na, ano? Eh, kasi naman yung face shield nakakasapo kay Tlalo, eh, di ba? Di ba nangyari? Ito, it kicked me out of my system. Okay, the simulation that the researchers performed showed that droplets had remained suspended at the bottom of the shield and spread to the front and side of the mannequin used for the study. Yan ang nga ba sinasabi ko, di ba? Uh, yung talaga best protection mo para yung pag-gag sa mouth mo because like this one see uh, for the face-to-face -face simulation the shield initially deflected droplets toward the ground and after a cough but small droplets remain suspended at the bottom of the shield and then floated around the sides eventually creating a spreading about three feet to the front and sides of the mannequin in some cases the droplets spread backward behind the mannequin instead of forward okay Two experts similarly said that face shields are not tight-fitting, okay, and that aerosols may still enter and exit around the outside uh, of the face shield where it's not fitted in the same way as a mask. Oo nga naman, hindi naman talaga yung parang mask, para parang siyang shield in itself, para siyang bakod, okay? Wind engineer Joshua Agar from the University of the Philippines also argued that the plastic barriers might do more harm than good. Ang tendency kasi nagkakaroon ng negative pressure sa face shield. So, so nag-act up siya sa suction. Yes, e, e, ang init-init pa naman. Diba? Kung, kung magpapalagay pa rin sila ng face shield, hindi lang maskara sa mga eskwela. Yes, Mio, maraming namang mga hihimatayin doon sa init. Okay? Ang tendency, nagkakaroon ng negative pressure doon sa face shield. So, nag-act siya, nag siya as suction. So, hinihigop niya kung ano man. Yung nasa air, so most likely, pati yung virus kasama doon. Pag, he added that the direction of air changes around one's head to the formation of masses of air that are whirlwind-like in between the face and the shield. These formations of masses tend to masses tend to trap in air, increasing one's chance of inhaling the virus. Okay? A physician recalled some of Agar's posts where the latter 
shared simulations involving face shields. So let's all be reminded, hindi, hindi effective ang face shield, ginagamit lang siya sa hospital and clinical setting. Balikan natin ang, ang aral na napulot natin, okay? Well, that's what Joshua Auger says. Uh, he is a, also a uh, broadcaster, okay? Pero yun po, baka sakaling tinatry nilang ibalik yung face shield. Eh, huwag naman naman, ang init-init, okay? Okay, in another field... Okay, talking about... I talked about habits, right? Um, okay. Uh, back to school po, kailangan na po ng mga nag-back to school, especially nag online yung mga laptop, importante po, no? Uh, I'm going to talk about itong particular na, you know, I'm not endorsing them, but, you know, they, they came out with a, a nice read. Work, study, wherever life takes you. Okay, ang sinasabi, no? Kasi nga, ngayon po, hybrid learning or wherever it is, we can work anywhere we want. Okay? Basta lang may internet, may data ka, pwede. So, uh, here, let me talk about work, study, wherever life takes you with Logitech. Okay? Alright. Let's start on this. Okay. In this age diba, of uh, remote working, diba? work from home and online learning, the world is literally your playground. Like I've always said this before, the world is my oyster diba? because my work spans across the seas. Okay, uh, uh, And uh, it, I'm um, doing business and working with people from all over the world. So in this age of remote working and online learning, the world is literally your playground. It is my oyster, your playground, whatever, that's your boat. You can be anywhere you wish to and not use a vacation leave credits or mass classes, or miss classes for that matter. It, uh, whether living out of a suitcase for the adventure of a lifetime or chilling out on your favorite holiday spot or simply staying home at the park, Itong Logitech po meron silang offer, okay? Your personal companion. Be inspired, harness your creativity, and boost your productivity in any place you find yourself in with itong mga magnificent, pag ang gagamitan nyo ng magagandang uh, gadget and minimalist gadgets kagaya ng Logitech, okay? The MK470 Slim Wireless Keyboard and Mouse Combo. Ayan po. Uh, gusto nyo makita? Wait, hold on. Let me just put it here. Where is it? Just bear with me so I can show you. Ayan, ayan, pala. Ang ganda. Alright. Hold on. Okay, let me get it out from there so that I can show you the this latest breakthrough naman para sa mga nag-aaral at nagtatrabaho. Uh, something convenient. Okay. Ito po. Ito po yan. Uh-oh. Hold on. Medyo para akong naka-slow motion. <laughs> it, it's actually gloomy out here. Pero mainit. Yan po. Ayan, oh. oh. Wire, slim wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Ganda, ha? Parang gusto ko yan. Pwede kaya yan sa computer ko. Um, Kapag naman inat. 30 degrees. Pero imagine sa Japan, 39. Mas mainat na sa tayo. As sila sa atin. Okay. Going back to what I was talking about. Okay. Here is the MK470 Slim Wireless Keyboard and Mouse Combo. Wow. 
a K580 slim multi-device wireless keyboard can easily fit in your hand, carry, or tote bag. Okay? It is ultra slim, compact, and discreetly quiet. Ideal for computers, phones, and tablets. Okay? It takes uh, the stress out of uh, multitasking, actually. Kaya nga, multitasking sometimes, you know, that can distress you pagka maraming iba't ibang bagay kang ginagawa. Okay? So again, it is ultra slim. Itong uh, K580 slim multi-device wireless keyboard. It is ultra slim as you can see. Compact and discreetly quiet. Ideal for computers, phones, and tablets. It takes the stress out of multitasking. The, the easy switch buttons enable users to switch typing uh, between two devices and using the same thing. Okay? So, yan. Yan po ang MK40 Slim Wireless. Marami pa pong iba. Meron pong yung na K580 multi-device keyboard. Okay? With with the K48, uh, with the K480 Bluetooth multi-device keyboard, you can pair up to three devices wirelessly, laptop, tablet, or phone, and seamlessly switch to typing among them. Okay? It is thin, Minimalist, lightweight, highly durable, and can last up to 24 months battery life. And it is spill resistant for those small accidental spills for what when you're working or studying on the go. The built-in phone and tablet cradle. Mm -hmm. Look, ano ba yan? Built-in phone and tablet cradle. Gadgets up to 10.5 millimeters thick and 258 mm wide. Okay, so marami pa pong iba yan ng mga products no? like modern day multi-device. Uh, yung K480 Bluetooth multi-device keyboard. You can go personal with the M350 wireless mouse with its color options. You know, rose, blue, gray, and eucalyptus. Okay. So yan po itong M350 Pebble wireless mouse naman din. Yung kanina ay wireless keyboard. I think I'm going to put a wireless mouse. Ah, there you go. Let me show you. So, very long po. Where is my paintbrush? Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Let me mind. No, hold on, please. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab this. Okay, got it. Okay. How do I name this? Ah. Okay, we got it. Okay, so now let's go get the last graphic back out in there for you. Okay, there you go. So, uh, gadgets, the uh, young boy wireless mouse. Okay. So as I was saying po, so yung um button and the hand computer po. Uh, at first we, we talked about yung wireless keyboard. It, it can easily fit in your hand carrier or tote bag, okay? It is ultra slim, compact, and discreetly quiet. Ideal for computers, phones, and tablets. Okay. So on on the on the other hand the man po, uh Meron pang mo, 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 tawag dito, modern and multi-device. Switch typing between your computer, phone, and tablet. Using the K480 Bluetooth multi-device keyboard naman po yun. You can go personal with the M350 Pebble wireless mouse with its colorful options. Rose, blue, gray, and eucalyptus. The, this compact mouse can also go with you on your adventures. 
It's also a silent worker with its clicking sound and rubber scroll, making 90% less noise than the average mouth. Thank God. Okay. All right. So, to recap for what we've uh, talked about during the week, ang ba yung naghahangin computer ko? We talked about how the pandemic uh, stresses has turned into a chronic stress. So how can we go about de-stressing ourselves? Una muna na po dyan, of course, drink lots of water. And, and of course, but I know that some of you guys are workaholics for the same reason that I work so much. It's because I get bored when I have to do routine work and I get bored when I have, if and ever I will do nothing except on my self-imposed vacations or pagtaka sa seven-day work day ko. Sometimes I afford myself certain liberties on just walking uh, or just going out somewhere if I'm out of town just to relieve my stress, okay? Anyway, work study wherever life takes you, okay? So, tayo ngayon. Okay? Palitan ko lang ulit. Yeah. Let me just see it a little bit. And sometimes my glasses don't work tonight. Nice. It's not prescriptions, it's just reading. Okay, I'm pretty. Okay, yeah. Alright. Good. Yeah. Ito siya. Wireless mouth. Okay? So, there you go. Oops. Ayan, ayan. Okay? As you can see, alright? In this day and age of remote working and online learning, the world is littering up our market. Okay? So, uh-oh. My video died. My back. What happened? I got it down. See, the time is still running, but I don't see myself there. I'm back, okay? So, going back to our subject matters, no? To, re to repasso yung mga pinag-usapan uh, natin this week is how, how people are dealing with managing stress during COVID-19, the ba? Uh, what did we say to do, okay? Again, paparipasso uh, lang. Uh, you know, siyempre no, wouldn't it be nice if we could relieve our stresses? Wouldn't it be nice if we could get rid of all the things that cause us high levels of stress? And truth be told, hindi natin, ito ay almost impossible, di ba? To get rid of all the things that stress us. That is not usually an option. Consider what you can do, okay? What you have to do is consider what you can do for ourselves to best protect us during uh, the stressful period, okay? Mali lang po. Ayan, okay. Yung wireless mouse. Okay na yan. Let me just fix this. Alright. We can hide now. Anyway, okay, ayan na sila, patong-patong na. Alright, so, ayan, okay. As I was saying, unang-una natin sinabi, one of the best ways to de-stress, Okay, ulitin natin yung mga strategies is number one, to exercise. Okay? Exercising not only provides health benefits, but it reduces the feelings of stress and increases your endorphins. Okay, like we mentioned. Okay? 
tuwang tuwa po yung mga nandiyan yung represent sa nalaman kung paano nila magbabawasan yung mga stress nila sa buhay natin araw-araw. Kasi nga, di ba, chronic naging, yung pandemic stress naging chronic stress. And it can cause increased risk of both physical problems such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular, and intestinal problems. And even cancer, ha? Mental health problems pa. Nagkaroon ng depression, tsaka anxiety, and suicidal tendencies mga tao sa pandemic na ito, tsaka yung pagla-lockdown. Diba? So, wouldn't it be nice to be able to get rid of those things kahit na sandali lang, okay? With these measures po, sana makatulong, no? Unang-una nga, okay? Unang-una, exercise, okay? Exercising not only provides health benefits, but reduces nga feelings of stress and increases the endorphins, which make you feel good. The endorphins na nakakapag-excite sa atin. While regular exercise is great, even just going for a brisk walk, okay na. For 10 to 20 minutes. It can help you feel better when you are experiencing a lot of stress. Okay? So, no, get social support. Okay? When we are super busy, it is easy to uh, it is easy to cut ourselves off from others or be oblivious. I'm guilty of being that. Kasi ako nga po, kahit maingay ang environment, of course, sa pag-ibang kasi may tama yun, pero kahit na nung nag-aaral ako or whatever, even if around, everything around me is happening all at the same time, kaya ko pa rin po mag-concentrate. At the same time, nagulimig ko rin. Hindi ako oblivious sa goings on around me. Okay? So, get social support. Okay? When you're too busy to cut yourself from out, you cut off yourself from others, huwag niyo pong gawin. At least we will all need to have uh, the interact of the result, no? So, get social support. Having positive social contact with friends, family, and colleagues can reduce our feelings of stress and, uh, and improve our mood. Try to make time to connect with those people who make you happy, right? Ito naman. Remove the toxic ones and retain the happy people, right? Okay, next, number three, ito, partati ko. Keep an eye on your thoughts. Ano ibig sabihin? Keep an eye on your thoughts. You know, makiramdaman nyo yung sarili nyo, okay? Sometimes the automatic thoughts we have increase our feelings of stress. But we can consciously, consciously charge them to reduce stress and feel better about the situation. Here are some examples, okay? What is the worst thing that can happen if things don't go the way that you want? Okay. So, uh, what is the worst thing that can happen if things don't go the way that you wish? Siyempre, disappointment. Ayan ang una-unang nagkakaroon. Discouragement, disappointment. You know, ng tubig. Could there be another explanation to, for someone else's behavior? Sometimes, consciously thinking differently about a situation can reduce our stress and give us comfort. Yun na nga ako yun. I will not make a mountain out of a molehill. In, uh, in fact, instead of that, you know, I will diffuse it. Diba? Diffuse the triggers that are causing the stress, if not remove them altogether. Okay? Kasi nga, we get social support from your friends and family, okay? It can reduce feelings of stress and improve mood. Number three, okay, Keep an eye on your thoughts. Self-examination is important, okay? Sometimes the automatic thoughts we have increase our feelings of stress, okay? But we can consciously change them to reduce stress and to feel better about health instead, okay? So here are some examples, okay? What is the worst thing that can happen if things did, don't go... Don't, uh, if things don't go the way that you wish, diba? Could there be another explanation for someone else's behavior? Sometimes consciously thinking differently about a situation can reduce uh, some of the stress and give us comfort. Depende rin kasi, kunyari pa ulit-ulit mo nang tinuro kung paano gawin. Pag balik, mali pa rin. So, you know, pasensya na lang, I guess. Okay, next one is relax those muscles. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Relax those muscles, the 
Consider using hot showers or baths, taking heat pads, or even massages to release tight muscles. When as muscles relax, this can help us to feel more relaxed. Okay? Watch your breath. Our breathing tends to be fast and shallow when we, stre when we are stressed, okay? And the lower levels of oxygen we experience can make us feel more panicky. Yun nga. Watch your, uh, guard your thoughts. Watch your breath. Yan po, kasi ano natin po. Yung serious symptoms ng COVID ay yung pag talagang panakit ng katawan, okay? Tapos, um, watching your oxygen level, yung paghinga nyo, yung mag monitor nyo po, dahil dyan malalaman po, kailangan na kayong hospital. Right? Thank God, you know, we didn't, we got COVID but we're not hospitalized and even my siblings in Manila. So, bahay lang sila nagko-quarantine, okay? So, watch your breath, take a few slow deep breaths can help us regulate breathing and increase our oxygen levels. Okay? All right, the next one is Engaging in, you know, keep an eye on your thoughts. I'm not tapos na tayo dyan, okay? At huwag masyadong mag-iisip ng, ng masama or huwag masyadong mag-iisip per se. Kasi minsan yan, yan mismo ang pinapanggalingan ng stress. Yung kaka-worry mo. Lalo-lalo na if you're worrying about other people, which is one of your business when you think about it. But siguro, if you have a caring, nurturing attitude, of course it's not bad to care for, for the homeless and those who need it. Okay? Pero so, as I was saying, okay, uh, there is no other explanation for someone else's behavior, okay? This other place is asking. Sometimes, con consciously thinking differently about the situation can reduce our stress and give us comfort. Okay? Alright, so what else? He said, watch your breath, okay? Because our breathing tends to be fast and shallow and when, when we are stressed. Uh, so, yan nga po. Nung, nung nagka-COVID po kami ng family ko, hindi kami na hospital, nag-quarantine lang kami sa house. But we were, I, I was the one actually with the more severe symptoms, such as my whole body was aching. Uh, my head was like splitting heavy. I had fever for three days. And then when I lost my sense of uh, smell and taste, that freaked me out to no end. When you can't taste, it's so weird. But we survived it and we're now in the pandemic situation na may mga booster shots na, fourth na shot, okay? So again, going back to our distressing or decluttering uh, episode, so, sinabi natin, you have to relax those muscles, okay? These are good habits that you need to form so that you can be more immune, you can be stronger for COVID, okay? So, watch your breath. Our breathing tends to be fast and, and shallow when we are stressed. And the lower levels of oxygen we experience can make us feel more panicky, okay? Taking a few, few uh, slow deep breaths can help us regulate breathing and increase, increase our oxygen levels. According to us, according to that, that can make us feel better. Okay? Yung pong uh, lower levels of oxygen we experience can make us feel panicky. Okay. Next one is to engage in mild mindfulness. Ano po yung engaging in mild mindfulness? Sabi ako nabibulong today. Mindfulness is an umbrella term used to describe a number of activities and interventions that help us focus on the moment. And there is a lot of evidence that this can be useful in reducing stress and improving good. Wow. Okay. What happened to that? Hmm? Anyway, hala, nag overheat. Yan, okay, oops. Alright, so, uh, ano ba yun? Nawala yung aking mark. Where? 
Alright, okay. So, yun. Engage in mindfulness, okay? Uh, uh, mindfulness, okay, is an umbrella term used to describe a number of activities and interventions that help us focus on the moment. Or even we are, we are being aware of our surroundings, okay? In fact, just focusing on our breathing can help us divert our attention and reduce stress. Just a caveat, don't engage in deep breathing. Hindi, hindi naman dapat yung deep breathing for so long. Malihino na kayo. Or wala kayo oxygen sa utok niya. Okay? So, number seven, take care of yourself. Ayan ang pinaka-importante. Okay? I have, uh, eat, uh, eat healthy. Uh, eat sufficiently. Sleep well. And taking time out for pleasurable activities can go out the window when we are feeling overwhelmed. So, dahan-dahan lang ang pag uh, pag labas pero lang lalo na lalo na kailangan yung uh, eating habits ko ay improve no okay uh, there is a lot of evidence that this can be used for reducing stress and improving mood ito po yung uh, engaging in a number of activities and interventions that help us take care of uh, the environment okay but most more than anything you should take care of yourself Healthy eating, sufficient sleep, and taking time out for pleasurable, active, pleasurable activities. Okay? Um, yan po ang importante. Kaya kailangan po, we have to feel healthy para, or we, nowadays po talaga, ang pinaka-importante, syempre importante po, trabaho, pag lahat, pero mas importante that we have good health. Kasi aanhin mo yung, aanhin mo yung mga, mga pera nyo, kung, kung hindi naman kayo healthy, diba? You won't live to enjoy the fruits of your labor, yung itanga. Naalala ko na naman ulit yung sinabi ni Steve Jobs, diba? Hindi puro-puro trabaho, hindi puro pera, dahil siya namatay, nagsakit ang cancer, lahat ng money in the world could not save him from dying. So, health is wealth po. Life in general can lead to high levels of stress, okay? While this is to be expected, it will be important to keep an eye on this and make sure we are getting what we need. If you do your best to, to work on your stress and mental health, pero nagsastruggle pa po kayo, there's no shame in seeking outside help. Yun na po, yung clinical help na po, ang kailangan nyo, kung ayaw pa rin mawala ng stress pagkatapos ng mga sinabi po. Di ba po yung, yung mga healthy habits na kailangan natin magawa? Yung, yung mga ibang exercise na tinuro ko po, kagaya nung uh, to mga habits to reduce stress, uh, kagaya nung uh, pag-breathe, diba? Yung to meditate, yan na, inulit ko, try meditating, okay? Uh, para makatulong sa pag-relieve ng stress yung meditation, okay? Gawin natin ulit, okay? Sinabit ko na uh, uh, even five minutes of meditation, okay? Because meditation leads to decreased physiological markers of stress, in a, in a range of populations. According to the studies, uh, okay, specifically meditation can help to lower cortisol levels and blood pressure at heart rate. So, a consistent med meditation practice also helps us better respond to stressful situations. Okay? To meditate, ulitin natin, simply bring your full attention to your breath. Okay? Ayan. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. When your mind starts to wander, come back to your breath without judgment. Okay, so inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Palikad pala yung ginawa ko kahapon sabi ko, inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose. Hindi pala. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Okay? Basta, basta, no, mag, no, meditate. Okay, like this. Diba? Mga five minutes, five minute meditation routine will calm you down. Kunyari, na, na agitate kayo, anxious kayo, medyo magpahinga ng sandali. Excuse me. Bless me. <laughs> Meditate, inhale and exhale through your nose. Ito na mga five minutes, okay? And that will calm you down, okay? Tapos po, find a hobby that you enjoy. Yung sinabi ko, that, that can mean practicing an instrument, painting, cooking, or playing with your children. Okay? 
Basta find a hobby. I think anything that takes you away from the day-to-day concerns or stress is helpful for lowering your stress levels, okay? The key is to focus on what you are doing to block out the rest of what is going on. Ako, nabi ko na ngayon, I cook in between my teaching, in between my writing, in between my uh, broadcasting. So, may pangparahan ako, I cook. Ayan po ang aking pagtanggal ng stress. Magluto. Sarap, diba? Swerte yung mga, uh, mga ano ko, ginibig, ginibig yan. Yung mga recipient ng aking distressing uh, exercise, which is cooking, okay? <clears throat> I like po to make <clears throat> mga baked things like baked casserole, mga baked lasagna, baked macaroni. Hindi <clears throat> <clears throat> naman, naman po masyadong bake a cake. Ako yung binibake ko yung mga ulam, yung mga pagkain. So, so when we engage in those activities, pangpatanggal ng stress din po yun, okay? Tapos syempre, yung again, Schedule your, your daily movement or exercise, di ba? You take exercise breaks in between your work. Importante, maglakad-lakad ka mayo. Sabi nga nila, kung ayaw mo lumabas, lalo na mula na yung season, walk around your your apartment, your condo, your house, di ba? Maglakad-lakad ka. Or even if, kunyari, na, may ang kakausap sa telepono, maglakad-lakad ka pa rin. So, makukompleto mo yung walk mo, right? Aerobic exercise, which increases the heart rate and the body use of oxygen, it boosts levels of endorphins ulit, which work directly on all the opiate receptors in your brain to reduce pain and boost or pleasure or excitement or happiness, okay? Yan ang happy, happy, ano, the endorphins are the happy pills, okay? Exercise also reduces levels of the body's stress hormones, specifically adrenaline and cortisol, okay? All right. Okay, ang advice po na ng mga expert no. Please uh we should engage in aerobic exercise for 30 minutes at least, 3 times per week. Aerobic exercise allows the, the muscle and the liver to remove glucose from the bloodstream. It increases metabolism and can improve your sleeping habits or sleeping patterns, okay? Isa pa, try riding a stationary bike. Or simply taking a brisk walk, di ba? Yung paglalakad ng mabilis, talaga masarap na exercise yan eh. As long as you are pushing yourself, okay? And if you don't want to go outside, like I said, you can just walk around in circles in your apartment or your house while you talk to people, according to uh, uh, to si Messer at si Browning, si Mary Ann Browning, founder and CEO of Browning Fitness, okay? She is able to get up to 23,000 steps in a day by walking and conversing. Oh my God. Habang nagmi-meeting, naglalakad. Okay? Tapos ano pa? Boost intake of stress-reducing foods. Okay? Foods like salmon, trout, mackerel, and chubby sardines. Ayan, uh, herring, salmon po. Nakakatulong niya kasi they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Alright? Of course, vitamin C. Importante, vitamin C rich foods, okay, like red and green peppers, uh, citrus fruits, okay, and uh, ito po ay naglo-lower ang nagagawa naman ito, ng vitamin C, it's lowering your psychological stress, tsaka yung blood pressure mo mababa. Mabuti, um, diba? Pati rin ang pagkain ng mga fermented foods like yogurt, kombucha, kefir tempe, tsaka sauerkraut, it contains kasi friendly by bacteria known as probiotics. Kaya yung Yakult, oh, pwede rin yan, Yakult, saka yogurt, okay? Tapos po, huwag kayo masyado mag-drastic diet, okay? Dahil limiting calories to very low levels has been shown to increase naman the cortisol levels. So if you're cutting back on calories, okay, uh, or you are making every effort to lose weight, to lose the pandemic weight that you gain, you may actually be in your, uh, doing your body harm, okay? Kasi dapat not in moderation. Eating enough carbohydrates is important, okay? It's important too, since they prompt the brain to make serotonin, a neutral, a neurotransmitter that has a calming effect on the body, okay? So, ang kailangan din natin ng carbs sa katawan, pero not much. On the flip side, diets that are very low in carbs can boost cortisol levels. It's also important to avoid long stretches of, of not eating. Hindi yung, yung 16 hour wala, ayat naging 24 hours na. Huwag naman ganun. Okay? 
So, so yung eight-hour window lang pwede pa rin yun, okay? It's also important to avoid uh, those drastic weight loss programs, okay? Because it can lower your blood sugar, which can cause irritability and worsen the stress. Okay, para sa mga kasama mo. So, try to eat something every four hours or so. Okay? Cut back on caffeine, yung mga kape, pagbawalan. Improve your self-hygiene. Try yoga. Enjoy nature. Diba? Listen to music. Seek support and connection. Okay? Kung kailangan nyo ng kausap, yan, you know. Call your friends and family. Kung hindi kayo nakakasosial, diba? Social distancing. Pwede naman kayo mag-zoom, mag-gmeet. No? So, being isolated kasi can cause an increase in cortisol levels. Humans are meant to be social. So, it's through our social connections that we keep our stress levels down. So, importante talaga rin na makapag-interact, makipag-kwento para makarelieve ng stress. If you can't be with a friend or loved one in person, you siyempre, andyan ng mga Zoom, Viber, Messenger, ang dami-dami na pong uh, avenues na pwede natin makausap kung hindi natin makikita. Okay? Thank you so much for joining me. Yan po, that was the week in retrospect. What we talked about this week in po sa how to deal with stresses in this pandemic. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, this is Jay Bautista for Guay Online on a Friday. I hope you have a good weekend ahead of you. Uh, at the end of the day po, three things should remain in our lives. At kalimutan, faith, hope, and love. Maraming maraming salamat. Happy second death anniversary po ng aking father today at yung kasintato ko. Uh, but you know, I, my dad is always in my heart and in my mind every day. I miss him very much. But uh, of course, happily in heaven watching all, all over us. So thank you so much for joining me. Magandang magandang tanghali po. Enjoy your lunch. And uh, see you next week. Sa so, Monday na po tayo ulit magkita. Thank you. Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming...